Hello friends, welcome to exclusive stuff. Today we going to see top 10 foods that helps to increase our immune system. Good nutrition is an important part of leading a healthy lifestyle. Combined with physical activity, your diet can help you to reach and maintain a healthy weight, reduce your risk of chronic diseases, like heart disease and cancer, and promote your overall health. Let us see the food list that helps to improve our immune system. Before to that, don't forget to subscribe our channel, your support is important to us. Number 1, Lemons and Other Citrus Fruits Citrus fruits contain carbohydrate, fiber, vitamin C, potassium, folate, calcium, thiamine, niacin, vitamin B6, phosphorus, magnesium, copper, riboflavin, pantothenic acid and a variety of phytochemicals. Citrus fruit, including lemons, oranges, and grapefruit, are rich in vitamin C which boosts your immune system. The juice of a lemon contains around 30 mg vitamin C, and the peel, or zest, has another 10 to 20 mg. It ensuring your diet has plenty of healthy foods rich in vitamin C can help reduce the length and severity of a cold if you get one. Vitamin C helps the body to produce white blood cells as well as antibodies, both keep the immune system fighting invading viruses. Don't, however, wait until you have a cold before you top up. Vitamin C can be helpful as a preventative measure, so you need to keep your body stocked up all winter. Number 2, Pineapple. According to new research from the Philippine Women's University School of Nutrition, it may be time to rewrite the old adage. In a recent study, researchers found that eating one half cup of pineapples every day for two months helped boost participants' immune systems. That's probably because pineapple is packed with nutrients that boost your body's production of granulocytes, which are what make up white blood cells. Since white blood cells are your body's first line of defense against bacteria and flu bugs, having a healthy count as you head into flu season is key for staving off infection. Raw pineapple pulp is 86% water, 13% carbohydrates, 0.5% protein, and contains negligible fat. In a 100 gram reference amount, raw pineapple supplies 50 calories, and is a rich source of manganese, 44% of daily value, and vitamin C, 58% of daily value, but otherwise contains no micronutrients in significant amounts. Pineapple's healing compounds act as brushing mechanisms that help clean up and drive out sticky mucus and debris that can build up inside the liver. Pineapple helps to dissolve gallstones and is an excellent fruit to include in your diet to help cleanse and detox the entire body. Number 3, Nuts. Nuts are the source of energy and nutrients for the new plant. They contain a relatively large quantity of calories, essential unsaturated and monounsaturated fats including linoleic acid and linolenic acid, vitamins, and essential amino acids. Many nuts are good sources of vitamin E, vitamin B2, folate, fiber, and essential minerals, such as magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, copper, and selenium. The nutritional goodness in nuts helps support the immune system as a whole, they are a good addition to everyday eating. In short it is a great source of many nutrients, loaded with antioxidants, may aid weight loss, may lower cholesterol and triglycerides, beneficial for type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome, may reduce inflammation, high in beneficial fiber, may reduce your risk of heart attack and stroke. Number 4, Whole Grains or Oats. Whole grains are a source of multiple nutrients and dietary fiber, recommended for children and adults in several daily servings containing a variety of foods that meet whole grain rich criteria. As components of breakfast cereals, whole grains are associated with improved micronutrient intake and lower risk of several diseases. Their effects on gastrointestinal health, 
risk of obesity and cognition need further evaluation. B vitamins can not only help the body fight off bacteria and viruses, but they can also help your immune system fight back when you are unwell. B vitamins are water soluble and can't be stored in the body. For this reason, aim to include whole grains every day. Number 5, Spinach. Spinaches are high in iron, calcium, and vitamins. Raw spinach has 91% water, 4% carbohydrates, 3% protein, and contains negligible fat. In a 100 gram, 3.5 ounces, serving providing 23 calories, spinach has a high nutritional value, especially when fresh, frozen, steamed, or quickly boiled. It is a rich source, 20% or more of the daily value, of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, magnesium, manganese, iron and folate. Spinach is a good source, 10 to 19% of daily value, of the B vitamins riboflavin and vitamin B6, vitamin E, calcium, potassium, and dietary fiber. Although spinach is touted as being high in iron and calcium content, and is often served and consumed in its raw form, raw spinach contains high levels of oxalates, which block absorption of calcium and iron in the stomach and small intestine. Spinach cooked in several changes of water has much lower levels of oxalates and is better digested and its nutrients absorbed more completely. As spinach has a ton of vitamin A, which has been shown to boost immunity. Number 6, Lemon Tea. Hot lemon tea helps in maintaining the pH balance of the body and increases the metabolic rate. But research shows that sipping tea, especially with a few slices of lemon, can keep the flu from setting in at all. Lemon has long been known for its cleansing properties. It contains a fair amount of vitamin C, is less than 25 calories and is also a natural diuretic. Drinking lemon tea is extremely good for cleansing the liver and flushing out waste and toxins, as well as aid digestion and thus, can assist in weight loss. Also it promotes hydration, it improves your skin quality, it aids digestion, it freshens breath, it helps prevent kidney stones and it improves the immune. Number 7, Yogurt. Yogurt has 81% water, 9% protein, 5% fat, and 4% carbohydrates, including 4% sugars. A 100 gram amount provides 406 kilojoules, 97 kilocalories, of dietary energy. As a proportion of the daily value, a serving of yogurt is a rich source of vitamin B12, 31% of daily value, and riboflavin, 23% of daily value, with moderate content of protein, phosphorus, and selenium, 14-19% to of daily value. Yogurt is often associated with probiotics, which have been postulated as having positive effects on immune, cardiovascular, or metabolic health. However, to date high-quality clinical evidence has been insufficient to conclude that consuming yogurt lowers the risk of diseases or otherwise improves health. Yogurt is chock full of all kinds of goodness for your gut and your best friend when it comes to fortifying yourself against a nasty stomach flu. Number 8, Eggs. Cooked eggs are easier to digest than raw eggs. A 50 gram medium or large chicken egg provides approximately 70 calories of food energy and 6 gram of protein. Not only are eggs a source of protein and iron, they also contain vitamin A, a fat-soluble vitamin which is important for the immune system. Liver, dairy products, and oily fish are other sources of vitamin A. Vitamin A has important antioxidant properties and helps keep the cells which fight bacteria and viruses working at their best. Number 9, Seafood. Seafoods are widely claimed eating oily fish containing long-chain omega-3 fatty acids helps prevent heart disease. However, a 2018 Cochrane Systematic Review, based on moderate to high-quality evidence, 
finds little to no support for this widespread claim. The mineral zinc has a vital role when it comes to immunity. Zinc helps ensure the white blood cells which help the body to fight infection are able to work at their best. Getting enough zinc through the diet can keep the body working at its best, but as with iron, too much can suppress the immune system, so food is the best way to get the zinc you need. Number 10, Lean Red Meat Lean meats are a good source of protein and have fewer calories than non-lean meats. Lean meats are popular amongst people following low-calorie and low-fat diets. Poultry is a good source of selenium, vitamins B3 and B6, and choline. Red meat is well known as an incredible source of the mineral iron. The iron in red meat is called hem iron, which is a form that can be easily absorbed by the body. For those who include meat in their diets, two to three red meat meals a week is ideal. Remember, go for lean varieties of meat, trim any fat off, and avoid adding too much extra fat when cooking. An adequate amount of iron is important to keep your body healthy and working at its best. Iron also helps to keep the immune system working at its best. There are limits, however. More isn't always better as too much iron can actually suppress the immune system. So stick to iron-rich foods rather than reaching for supplements. Iron supplements should only be taken under the advice of your general practitioner. If you like this video, hit the like button and share this video, thanks for your support, see you in the next video.